I sort of wanted to talk about uh, a train of thought that I haven't really been able to speak to too many people about because uh, okay. it's okay. one of those out there topics. So I, I, this is the right show for you. A train of thoughts that uh, I was curious of what you guys were to think about it kind of thing here. And, mm -hmm. uh, so I was wondering if um, mental health is connected to the moral health of society in ways. And um, because we've had so mm -hmm. much uh, immorality go on uh, in our time uh, where in, back in the day before technology and all of this stuff existed, uh, it would have been considered quite uh, immoral to, to go about this way of life kind of thing. Actually, um, that's a really rosy so view of the past, don't you yeah. think, Kyle? I mean, yeah, I'm also not more entirely likely. sure yeah. what it is you're saying. Like, 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 we can go back to the 1950s, and it was totally okay to hit your wife, yeah. right? Or to like, have someone lobotomized. Or to say no to women and minorities when it comes to opportunities, as far as jobs and education are concerned. When they like, bothered to ask. I, well. I, I agree with you, and I understand where yeah. you guys are coming from from that perspective. There, History. I'm just saying uh, there's some moral things about like watching um, people die on TV that we don't scoff or give too much thought today. But uh, when when the horror movies first started out, they didn't even show deaths and, and because they had moral objections against it. And uh, over time, those moral objections, uh, uh, we, we've crossed all those barriers with South Park and all the those type of shows there where yeah. there, there is no longer a moral barrier to, to cross and you so, think and everything has been set, right? No, no not necessarily, so, but if, I mean, r really quickly, so we know that things were bad before mm -hmm. and you're saying things mm -hmm. are bad now, but you're referring to a time that was obviously better, right? Like when do you think was the best yeah. time for human morality? Like, can you give me a year? I don't think there... No, I, I I I think there was a time where we had more more family ideals, and, and maybe that's more where I go towards when I when I speak to morality. But I know some of those family ideals of the past were also immoral. Yeah, yeah. To be I, clear, for for me, love and acceptance is a family value, and disowning people for unbelievably stupid reasons is not a family value. So in that yes. regard, um, we're doing better now. But, and when I, I feel like when, thinking that you can beat your wife or your children um, is not yes, a I, I, you. I, That's understandably I immoral. I'm, I'm not advocating for I, that. I, based on the way you've yeah. talked, I, I, uh, I assume that would be the case. Yes. Um, 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 for moral uh, with family in regard there, uh, there was this more consensus among the family uh, back in the day there where uh, if you were to speak your understanding and uh, to your family members they, they'd either uh, uh, affirm or correct uh, that understanding I, and I, I, uh, I actually, when I was being raised I actually got to push back uh, my again. mother yeah that yeah that so generally yeah, wasn't yeah. the case that, that that if you had a good childhood that's awesome but that doesn't mean that that was Typical. Uh, reflective of the world at large. I, I would say that this is the most yeah. moral time in the history of humanity because we're continuing to grow. We stand on the backs of giants. You know, we, we, we continue to, to get better. So, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to continue to, you know, as, as you say it, I'm, I'm going to let you finish. I, I do want to hear what you have to say, but I do want you to know that going through our minds, mm -hmm. this is an example of a thing that we can show in many different ways is not reflective of the greater whole of, you know, a, a growing morality. And I'm, I'm also going to let you finish, and, and you finish as well if you have more to I say did, after this, but I just want to say, Beyonce had one of the greatest music videos. What the but, fuck is... Uh, hey! I love you, you make no sense. Smiling? Kyle, go ahead. Yeah. I, I okay. Just, like, that's a quote yeah, from the thing. One, it was a, it was a the, cultural it, meme. That is very much Jamie. Welcome yeah. to talking. I'm trying to to remind myself that we, we the tone of this show is lighter, but we keep getting calls that 
That's okay. Inhibit our I like ability it. to do that. Easily. This is th- th- this is what we're growing into, Jamie. It's mm-hmm. What we're growing into. Kyle, go ahead and finish. Thank when, you for waiting. When I was being raised, when I was being raised, my mother told me not to speak to other people about religion or about politics because everyone was entitled to their own perspective and they all had their own perspective. Which that's that's just how Man. I was raised there, Man. and, and uh, so I never truly voiced any of my. Uh, understandings about the world or my misconceptions to my parents as growing up here. So I I grew up with a lot of misunderstandings where I had to to reflect on life and uh, follow my curiosities to gain that knowledge there because there was no one there to to teach me those things there. And I think uh, in reflection of that there, uh, there's probably a whole bunch of people that weren't uh, taught the, the traditions and doctrines of the past, but there's still, in my opinion, a, a need for some spiritual growth in a person kind of thing. They're not necessarily religious, but... Well, what's the benefit that, that of spiritual growth? Together, that's right. What's the benefit? What, is, the, what the, is spiritual growth? Like, what is that? Well, um, I, 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 I think it's to try to reach your, your potential as a person kind of thing that, that's okay. what I see as spiritual that, growth I mean do you understand that the the part of that growth where you say spiritual doesn't make any sense to us or anyone that doesn't have that same idea of a spirit that emotional yeah. growth or um, you know maturing or the development of character are also phrases that I think generally refer to what you're talking about. Yeah, you, you called an atheist show and you just threw us a bone. Yeah, I mean, I mean <laughs> it, it, like, I, uh, do you understand where we're coming from on that? Yeah, I, and, and, and as far as that is concerned, what is your, like, are, are you segueing slowly into a, a religious call? Like, what, what's our... What's our topic? We do have a couple uh, of other people on the line we want to get to, so let's get to the meat. I want to. Well, I, I want to dig in. Let's. Uh, what do you got? Uh, okay. Um, uh, um, a spiritual rebirth uh, involves a spiritual death, in, in, in my my view, and I, I think we are born into a world that that is. In, in ways socially dead because of the, the what is going on within it there. Uh, there's quite a few things that we can't uh, do that are beyond our individual capability and, and requires to come together and because we're not together on t- things there. That's where we have a lot of uh, inconsistencies between what we do in our individual life and what we want in society and that's what I mean more. Okay, so More so health and society. W- when you're t- talking about spiritual birth, just so that we're clear, I didn't hear anything magical, mystical, you know, uh, anything than like that. Well, I, so, well, and, and he I, even I his his description of spiritual yeah. didn't even contain any of yeah. that. So, uh, is there any? Well, I I I can reword it to to mental because mental and spiritual, I I think are are kind of connected there. We we go through kind of a, a mental death uh, at, at times there, and that's what I would call uh, depression there, where we would yeah. take the, the easy answer to to a question there that that kind of kills our that's curiosity right. or wonder for the world there. So whenever you bring up a, a larger topic, they would just uh, tell you what what uh, they already that, think. That yeah. So I would say those things are related, but not exactly the yeah. same. So so Kyle, what you're saying is you, when you talk about spiritual death, you're not saying that anything actually dies, that this is just all metaphor, right? For for other in, things. In it's, way, it's a way I, I to think, talk about it. I, I, in, a, in a way, yes. I think there's there's three different types of death in one life there. Um, in my, my opinion, there's a spiritual death, a mental death, and a physical death. Um, um, we can be mentally uh, 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 revive ourselves mentally and that would kind of give ourselves a mental rebirth there if someone goes through a spiritual suicide mental death kind of thing right yeah 
I, I, I do, you, do you not think there is no no well, so Kyle, what you shut you're, down people to the world? No, no, no. I mean, I I believe that people um, suffer from depression and then they can recover from it. Um, I wouldn't describe that as death or a rebirth from it, right? Um, because I don't have a reason to believe that those words apply very well, because I. There's, there's well, nothing when, that I believe is literally a rebirth, a... right? If you want to talk metaphorically, like, oh, I'm a completely mm -hmm. changed person because after this experience, I then went through a process of recalibrating my life, etc. right? There are many people that deconverted that think of it that way. Um, that might, they might actually be like, yeah, that's what I experienced as a spiritual rebirth. But... Um, yeah, I, people um, have, go through kinds of emotional suffering and then come out the other side of that. And people go through... Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the reason that I said, you know, those two things are related and but uh, distinct earlier is you said, like, oh, people will take the easy answer to a question and that destroys their curiosity and wonder for the world. I agree. I feel like that's... It, if you're going to use those terms like an epistemological... Uh, failing, like a, like a failing of, of skepticism in the world as applied to oneself, and that, that's why we're that's why we're here. Um, yeah. I mean, this is it's a good conversation, but um, is there I, anything? Else? Well, yeah, I, I, I don't know if there's anything else that we can add, man. Wrap up right yeah, here. You're not giving. I'd like we, to keep in touch with you. This is yeah. a good conversation that we can keep. And going. I mean, I, I I think it's a, a cool conversation to have, but I don't know if it falls really within the purview of calling an atheist show. Um, it's a cool concept, and I don't yeah. know if I disagree with you. I, I, I think I, yeah. my biggest part, my biggest piece is, is I would disagree with the language you're using because yeah. it carries with it a lot of baggage. Um, mm -hmm. But you're cool in my book, man. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate your guys' time. Absolutely. Thank uh, you for calling okay. in. Have a great day. You too. Uh, yeah. Do you know how to keep in touch with us on email and Facebook yeah. uh, and Reddit? And Twitter, yeah, I, and I, and I was Twitter. the one that emailed you about a, a social suggestion there about how to format. Oh, okay, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. There it is. Okay. Oh, Kyle. Yeah. Duh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There it is. Well, yeah. Keep in keep right. in touch. Yeah. Definitely. We'd we'll, love to hear from you. Again. We'll talk to you later, brother. All right. Have a good one. All right. You too. Okay. So I can't stop looking at the YouTube live comments. They're amazing. The sarcasm is so strong here. Mm -hmm. I mean, spiritual life, spiritual death. You need a spiritual condom. Um, <laughs> what is spiritual suicide? Uh, how long does a spiritual pregnancy gestate for? Um, it is just beautiful. I, 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 I just... I love the, the jokes. It's the best part. It's the, the best part of being a skeptic. Uh, it's the best part of being an atheist. Oh, the sarcasm uh, is strong in the, uh, the, the YouTube. Okay. Uh, comments. <laughs> Sarcasm is strong with these ones. Right? Mm-hmm. I... Mm. All right. Ready?